The event capture feature allows a snapshot to be taken of multiple SysView screens of data at a point in time. Also, in combination with our schedule feature, captures can be taken on a recurring basis. In addition, capture members can be used to issue lists of external commands automatically, such as operator commands. This captured data can be analyzed later at the user's convenience. There are four main methods to capture SysU screen data. The first is by schedule. This can be time of day or recurring interval. As you can see here, we have our SysU schedule screen up. Under the capture group, we have a, an event called overview that runs every four hours, all of the time. It's a capture function. We also have two other events called midnight and noon. These are events that are list functions. That means that they execute a member that has a list of operator commands or other types of external commands. If I hit PF11 under the POMS column, these are the members that are executed. These schedule members are in POM Live, and this overview member is in CAP Live. I'm going to show you what that looks like. I'll go to POM Live first. Well, I'll show you one of these schedule members, the Schedule 1200. It's just an operator command. Now, this is just one command. You can have many different commands here that, that are executed. And then if we go to Cap Live, I'll show you the overview member that's executed every four hours. The overview member has all of these SysView commands that are executed and then capture. So in order to look at this, we go to tap list. And as you can see, we have these overview members that are executed every four hours um, at 4, 8, 12. So I'm going to look at one of them. Let's go ahead and select it here. This is what it looks like. First of all, we have an ID. This gives you all of the information about the capture data set itself. It gives you the member that was executed that we just saw in tap live. And then you can take notes when you're analyzing. You can write anything in here so that you don't forget and you go back to it. Now, these are all of the screens that were captured. And as you can see, it looks like you were there. It looks like you're in real time right now, but this is actually data that was captured at that point in time. The second thing that you can do is you can capture something automatically at threshold breach. I'm going to the C threat screen here where I have a CPU time field. Um, I'm going to do the CPU time field for a different CICS region, for this one. So I'm going to edit CPU time for this VSVI transaction. So what we have here is a CPU time variable for the transaction VSVI. It has a problem limit of 6 seconds and a warning limit of 4.5 seconds. This executes Monday through Friday um, 24 hours a day. It does not execute on the weekends. For the actions, we, take, we do two things. We log an exception here, and we also do a capture. So the capture level is warning. So that means when this transaction hits 4.5 seconds or more, we are going to issue a Dyad CICS capture event. That is a member in Parm Live. And we're going to do it when the threshold breaches, and we're going to do a throttle of 15 minutes. So that means that we will, not, we will not do more than one of these captures every 15 minutes. So that's how you can um, set up a capture to be taken automatically at a threshold breach. This is very, very good, um, for instance, because you can capture all of the relevant CICS SysU screens when a CICS transaction starts misbehaving. The other thing that you can do is you can do a capture immediately if you're looking at a problem. So let's say that this, um, we're having a problem right here. We have this CPU time issue with a transaction. And so we want to capture this. So we're going to issue a capture open. This is called an immediate capture. This opens a, a capture data set. And we're going to do a capture immediate, and we're going to give it a description called CTASK problems. I'm going to take that capture, capture complete. Then I'm going to do a tap close to capture that close that capture data set. Now, in order to see this and um, review it later, 
I can see it show up here. Now, it shows up as a member of not applicable, applicable because this is, is just a, a capture immediate of one screen. So I'm going to, and you can see the description, see past problem. I'm going to select that, and then it will show me the CTAS screen just as if I was looking at it. This is very convenient if you are, you need to look at the data for a problem later. So that was capture immediate. The other thing that you can do, which is the most useful one, I think, is a capture command. Now this will implicitly open the capture data set, take the capture, and close the capture data set. So I'm going to do a capture by CICS, and this will take a bunch of captures of um, a lot of SysU commands relative to CICS. So I just scheduled that capture, and SysU will take that capture um, immediately. So I can go to cap list, and there it is, Diag CICS. I can select it. And here is all of the captures that it did. Then I can go down here, and I can view all of these at my leisure. So as you can see, the event capture feature is very useful for gathering diagnostic information. Customers can also easily send event captures to CA support using our FTP CA command. Thank you for listening.